Feels like it. Oh, yes. What? Big old perch. Oh, that's a big antler. That's a set. Dude, no freaking way. Oh my god. Let's go. Set. Right next to each other. Oh my god. This all started a couple years ago when we didn't know much about hunting. So we just, so I decided to go to this place that I know the best called Hostetler's Top. And I didn't really see much at the start of the day. Start of the day. I got her like hour, hour and a half in. I saw a doe walking with the buck. And I decided to pass up on the buck because it was just a small six pointer. And later on that night, I actually saw this deer right here that we call hit and miss. And I drew back my bow and I shot. But I shot a couple inches high and I shot the just a little bit at the bottom of the tender line, so I didn't get hit where I was supposed to. And the next day, we came out and tried to find it, but we had no luck. Came out there again, had no luck, so I just decided that they just wasn't dead. Later on in that year, during shed season, we actually found a small side, so then in there, we knew that he was still alive. But the bad part is we didn't find the big side, which is actually this side. So we had a plus and a minus of finding that shed. So now that we found the shed, we knew we had to set up some trail cams in the following spring, see if we could get a couple pictures of him, and see if he's still around the farm. So we did, and the first pictures that the camera took were actually of hit and miss. So using the cameras, we actually found the pattern that he was doing. He was going from the top to the bottom and then coming back up to the top at night. So I set up there again the next year and actually came across him, but he was in the standing corn, so I never could get a shot on him. He was about 20, 25 yards away, so it would have been a pretty easy shot. Since I didn't shoot him again this following, I mean, this year, we decided to go hard and go at it again this year to find him in sheds. But it didn't work any as we planned. We didn't find either sides. We found 80 sheds, but not this deer. It turned out that the neighboring farm found it, so. But thankfully, it's not one of the grounds that we could have looked on, so we wouldn't have had to look back in the moment and say, oh my gosh, we should have looked there, so. At least we gave it our all and tried to find it. So after we heard that the neighboring ground found it, and we saw the picture of it online, we decided to make this a memory so that it could last and show the times that we went through to finding, and we're gonna shoot this deer this coming year. So this is an amazing piece of art, and it was made by Kyle Burnett Art. Um, so yeah, this is, this, amazing piece of art. It's made out of all metal and just scrapped together and it's it's just awesome. It looks the exact same as the antler.